This is Witch Base News for Friday the 26th of July 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week Alec Turner invites you to a subtle mob at this years ECM, there's an excellent blog with tips and tricks for exploring commanders, multiple new ships arrive next month in Elite Dangerous and more. If you enjoy our videos consider subscribing to the channel and remember to ding the little bell to make sure you see all our content and community posts and if you'd like to help support the channel links to our Patreon and everything else are in the description below. We start this week with a quick update on the current progress in the Thargoid War. If you're looking to experience Thargoid combat over a surface installation then right now is a great time to check out the 4 ports in the Counter Strike systems around Thor that are offering that opportunity at the moment. Those are listed on screen now courtesy of the Post Disaster Evacuation Service Discord. If you're looking for evacuation and invasion targets then you'll also find those listed in Post Disasters Standing Orders. Their Discord is linked below all our videos. The next titan in the community's sights is Thor. As with previous titans before the direct assault on the titan itself can begin the controlled systems around it have to be cleared out and Thor is not short of support in that regard with a whopping 63 systems still under its control. We're likely looking at another 2-3 weeks at least until that attack begins in earnest. All indications are at the moment that the Thargoid War certainly in its current form will be over long before the end of the year. We featured the exploration blogging of Commander Homborger on this channel before and the good commander is back again this week with another entry journaling their ongoing adventures in the deep black. These updates are always chock full of gleeful and enthusiastic commentary on their adventures as well as some beautiful screenshots to illustrate the journey. However the blogs more often than not also contain really important hints, tips and tricks that they themselves have discovered along the way. This weeks blog features the quite literal high points and low points in Homburgers ongoing galactic exploration and finishes by signposting just where the voyages of the lovely jubbly may well be headed to next. Well worth a read on a long supercruise you'll find Homburgers Rush Fleet blog linked below. If you're planning on attending this years Elite Community Meet in Reading in the UK then there's a special immersive audio experience taking place at the event hosted by community luminary and serial SRVer Alec Turner that you'll need to be pre-prepared for to enjoy to its fullest. In order to participate in the activity codenamed Subtle Mob you'll need a device capable of playing MP3 audio files such as a mobile phone and you'll also need a pair of headphones or earbuds connected to that device. You'll also need to download one of two audio files for the experience but importantly do not listen to those files before the allotted time at ECM itself lest you spoil the experience for yourself before the day. Commander Alice Turnip <laughs> has also made a video about the Subtle Mob 3310 immersive theatre experience that contains all the instructions and the links you'll need to be an active participant at ECM and you'll find that video linked in the description below this one. As is the tradition at this time of year August starts next week and the arrival of August means two things for Elite Dangerous players. Firstly the first ever Super Cruise Overcharge native ship to enter the game the Python Mark II will be coming out of early access and going on general release in exchange for regular good old fashioned in game credits on Wednesday the 7th of August. The Python Mark II features no less than 6 utility slots, 2 medium hardpoints and 4 large hardpoints 
as well as one class 2, one class 3, one class 4 and one class 6 compartment. As I mentioned it's been built with supercruise overcharge in mind from the ground up so it flies very differently in supercruise overcharge than its non SCO enabled stablemates and also doesn't generate anywhere near the heat or fuel consumption problems of those ships. It will get you to the fight in hilariously quick time and then, especially when suitably engineered, more than handle whatever is thrown at it when it gets there. Secondly Frontier have also said that the SCO enabled medium freighter the Type 8 will be arriving we're assuming in arcs fueled early access to the game during August as well. The Frontier monthly livestream is scheduled to roll around again next Wednesday the 31st of July. Frontier will almost certainly be devoting a lot of that livestream to the recently launched yearly update to the F1 manager franchise as well as a first look at gameplay from the just announced Planet Coaster 2. However we are expecting that Elite Dangerous will likely be getting a fair chew of the livestream tree as well with FDev spilling more details on the Type 8 and how to access it at the very least. Just a reminder Frontier have previously announced that Powerplay 2.0 is scheduled to arrive sometime in September and we're fully expecting another new ship to start getting teased following the release of the Type 8. What discoveries have you found while exploring? Will you be subtle mobbing with Alec Turner at ECM and are you planning on picking up a shiny new Python Mark II or a grimy dented Type 8 in August? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.